So it is season 37, and this is the first war of the season. Almost forgot about it. We're going up against an alliance called Jim Ill Fix It. Okay. Let's, uh, who they got banned this time? Oh, Quake, Hercules, and Doom. And then they globally banned Spider Man 2099. Wouldn't that be fun? If you ranked up. Your Spider Man 2099 because he was good in war, and they just decided, no, you're not going to use it. Can you tell I don't like that system? It wasn't like I enjoyed war in the first place. But anyway, rant over. Let's uh, take a look at what we got going on in here. All right. All right. They cleared. Woo. They cleared out this path. All right. So. Let me look at the nodes, because I messed that up before. Our nodes were a little different. Let's see, unsteady ground. Unsteady. Uh, all attacks will glance. Okay. All right. Great, great. Permanent fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then the power burn. So I'm still going to bring in... Uh, Namor, he still seems to be uh, the best for this. Uh, I had some problems fighting her in the off season. I don't know. Hmm. I may have problems again, but we'll see. And who we got? Oh, we got a man thing. Really? Man thing there. Wait, because this one changed on me. Glance, Buffet, and Vigorous Assault. Yeah, see, that's different from what I was used to. And I brought somebody in here, I forgot who, and got wrecked. It might have been Namor. But Claire? Claire may do this fight in, um, in her uh, Curse of Plague. Let's see, attacker triggers a buff, okay, gains regeneration. Yeah, see, this would have been great if, um, ooh, that vigorous assault, and I know when he fires his special off, ah, and I have a hard time with his special sometimes, too. Yeah, that could be a pain. That can be a pain. But I'll try it with uh, Claire. And let's see, they don't have anybody there. Then we've got uh, Miss Annoying Guillotine. And then we've got um, Nimrod here. Is this any different? A little different. Yeah. All right, well, I'll probably bring in a uh, standard team. Uh, Nebula. Namor for this path here. Uh, Nebula for that Nimrod if I need to. And Claire for uh, this man thing if I need to. All right. Let's bring them in and we'll see how it goes. Okay. It's been a while since I have uh, put out a war video. So I'm going in with what has become my standard team. Namor, uh, he handles that path very well um, in the section one, path three. Uh, and Claire and Nebula, Nebula usually handles uh, minis, but she can handle others as well. Um, just depends on who I'm uh, facing. So here we go. Our first fight is going to be against uh, Colossus. And uh, I always try to boost up. If you ever see me not boosting up, it's because I forgot. Otherwise, I'm always going to try to put on some boosts. Now, I know when they put uh, Colossus here, they were thinking he's great. He's got armor ups, and that means he's really going to stick it to you. But Namor cheeses this path because all the damage that he would take, he's... Um, reflecting it back to them in the form of energy damage. So just look at that. All of that 
is because of the damage that he would normally be taking. Who would have thought when I took Namor up that I'd be using him in Alliance War? He's Sig 200, in case you were wondering. So he takes no damage. And all the damage that he would take while he's attacking gets reflected back. Now, this fight here. I had to learn how to fight Omega Sentinel. When I went in here this first time, did not know really how to fight her. Didn't know much about her kit or anything like that. Now, I had faced her in like uh, arena, but that doesn't really prepare you to face her in Alliance War. Okay, so we're going and I'm just like, okay, this is good, this is good. Now, look at her armor, uh, armor ups. Boom, auto block. Because she will auto block when she's at five, when she's defending, instead of 10 when she's attacking. Look at it. And I was like, what is going on? I just kept getting auto blocked and I didn't understand at the time what was happening here. But when she gets like right here, she's gonna auto block. See, I know that now, all right? But this first time she just wrecked me. I was just like, what's happening? Why am I auto blocking? And then I tried to um, hit her with a heavy attack. Well, if you read her kit, she will resist heavy attacks. So I was like, I thought I was, you know, getting around the auto block by doing a heavy attack. And you can see here, I'm like, what is going on with her? Okay, so I'm like looking over her abilities because I was like, why was she auto blocking so much? And that's why. When she's defending, um, it's cut in half. The uh, armor requirements for the auto block are cut in half. Um, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there it is. At 10 or more, but when she's defending, it's only five. And I was like, uh-huh. So what I should have done against her right here is use Nebula. Nebula would have done a much better job because I'm not hitting her with nebula i'm just building up building up and then parry so she never gets you know all of her armor ups i never have to deal with the auto block or anything like that but again this was the first time i had ever faced her in war but it won't be the last all right so as you can see here i'm just building up and I probably don't have to build all the way up. Now, I just did that to create some space. All right. And I'm not getting the damage back. Right. There's the shock. She's gone. So I should have used Nebula. If I see Omega Sentinel on that path again like that, I will just go ahead and use Nebula on her. All right. So I died, which, of course, already put me in a bad mood. Uh, cause I hate dying. And now we've got man thing. Now I'm already upset. And so I'm like, I need to get some payback. Now you see that vigorous assault. Very annoying, very annoying, a vigorous assault. Okay. Um, but now, even though it's not active, their global was unsteady ground, which I had never seen before. So I was like, okay. That's an interesting one. I was looking at it, and I was like, whatever. Let's get in here, okay? And uh, ignore those notifications, by the way, don't go away unless I swipe them. So when you see that notification, like what just happened there, in the middle of the fight, I actually swiped up to remove that notification. Um, I just have to remember, yeah, see, each of these, I'm just like, come on. I'm swiping those because I have the setting... Um, for it to be persistent because in that particular game i need to see those notifications i don't want to miss them okay but i should have just done a, a do not disturb for just while i was doing the fight but i forgot all right so as you can see here we're staying in um curse of plague 
which is also a nice little um, uh, power control mode as well. You'll see when I fire off a special uh, two here, look at the power bar on a man thing. See? So he's not going to get any power and he's going to be losing a little bit of power as well. So as you see here, see that? So I drain some of his power. All right. So we're doing well here. You know, I don't really care whether he gets to a special two because I can evade that pretty easily. And as you saw there, I didn't really care whether he got close to a special three because my special two was going to back him off of that. And down he went without too much difficulty there. All right. Much better than seeing him, if you remember, on that other node. Whew, that was annoying, let me tell you. Okay, so uh, look at the time. So let me explain a little bit of what just happened. I was waiting for the boss to go down. Normally, they clear boss island and the boss, and then I don't have to deal with the global, and I can just go ahead and finish up, okay? But there was some things going on, and I think one of the guys either was on vacation or something, but they got stuck at one fight, and they needed me to take that fight. Uh, you can see here, I'm just like, okay, that's enough. Let's do this. Now, I'm also live because I had forgotten. You know, I had peeked in and the boss wasn't down yet. Um, and I didn't see anybody tagging me or anything. And so when I was live, um, he, uh, one of my alliance mates came on and was like, yeah, we need you to take down uh, the Hulkling. And I was like, oh, oh I didn't, you know, finish my path even. And so I was, you know, like, well, what's going on? So live, I did this, okay? Um, I went ahead and switched over to my recording mode. Now, fighting her is not too difficult, um, especially with uh, Nebula. Uh, as you can see, that shock, it don't matter whether she is, you know, in Digicloak mode. She's still going to get that shot. And skadoosh. Done. Nebula is a beast. When I took her to rank three, it was mainly to fight Nimrod. But I'm seeing just how good uh, she is for quite a few different fights. So no regrets taking Nebula up. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of that particular playstyle because it's more of a, a defensive, passive type playstyle. And I prefer an aggressive playstyle. So anytime I have to back off, anytime you see me all the way to the far left of the screen, just know I'm not happy. Not happy being over there. Okay? So... All we're doing here, of course, is backing up and building up her shop. That's it, okay? Just over here. And one thing with her, you have to know how to evade their heavy attacks, okay? If you can't, you're gonna get wrecked. All right, so now I've got 20 of the charges. I just need to parry him. There we go, got the shock on him. And this is gonna just do a power drain and a power lock. Okay, and so I'm building back up again. And I could probably go ahead and, and just take him out, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, dealing with Nimrod, you know, got to be careful. And look at the block penetration that he started to hit me with. Now, as soon as I parry him, he's going to be gone. There we go. Um, there's the shock. Boom, boom. And he's done. Now, we're on to the fight. I took two of the minis on the left, and now there's one more mini that they got stuck with. And again, remember, I'm doing this live, all right? And it's that Hulkling right there. That is where uh, they got stuck. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I've never fought Hulkling on this node. 
So I'm looking over the node. I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Why did they get stuck? You know, this looks scary because dealing with Hulkling at the best of times, but Claire is actually a good uh, counter to him. But because other people died on this node and they were, you know, stuck, I popped in a vulnerability boost. Wasn't playing with it. Okay. So here we go. And I'm nullifying, nullifying his stuff. Okay. He almost got a special three right there, but I didn't really care. Okay. If he did go to a special three, I still have the invulnerability on. Okay. So we're trying to get him to fire that special. And he didn't want to. Finally, he did it. And then he's unblockable. I'm like, what was that? I'm like, okay. I'm just like, okay, that unblockable kind of surprised me. All right. And whew, almost got him to another special uh, three. This time he fired his special off. Okay. And then another special two. And he's down. Just like that. Two special twos. Over with. All right. So that's it for my participation in this war. And uh, we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. This is not a good start to the season. Let's take a look here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just died too much. And the alliance mate that came and got me is Nabi Dian, who is a beast, as you can see. He's almost always the MVP. He is crazy good. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.